So you want to draw amazing and convincing gesture poses, but all the videos out there are telling you to practice more and more using real life references. So in today's video, we will be discussing about this amazing application you can use on your Android devices or on your PCs for getting desired reference poses for your artwork and how you can simply integrate it with any drawing software you're using, whether it's Krita, Photoshop, Paint Tool, Sai, GIMP or any other software. And as I said, we are starting it right now. So the application we are using is Magic Poser. It is a completely free application. If you want to download it, you can download it from Play Store. The main reason to use it is that it serves as a perfect digital replacement for your physical dummies, which usually those traditional artists use for creating complex poses for their digital artwork. The only major difference between those traditional mannequins, mannequins, whatever you call them, is basically that it's completely free, first of all. And the second thing is that you can control and just basically change the entire lighting situation, the clothing and the appearance of your dummy, which is pretty nice and comes really handy when you're making complex scenes. In case you want to use it for your PC instead of your Android devices, what you can do is you can install BlueStacks, which is an Android emulator. Or, or instead of that, if you're not that big of a geek, what you can do is you can just install another application, which is a perfect alternative of this one. It's called Skull Sketcher 2. However, it's a more complex version of Magic Poser and definitely deserves a separate video of its own. But yeah, you can use it if you want to. There are videos out there. Now, the way you're going to get your preferred pose is pretty simple. Just open the application and over here, you can see some pre-setted up scenes. You can just simply choose them, any one of them. And you can start working on your own scene for your manga, your comics, or simply your character designs. In case you want to buy your own different mannequins, you can buy that over here. Obviously, I don't recommend it. If you want to do it, you can do it. But yeah, as I said, I don't recommend it. If you press this plus like icon, it will create a default sort of mannequin scene over here for you. Obviously, you can use your fingers to move around and have a better look at your mannequin. Now, if you press the bones or joints of your mannequin, you can just simply rotate it on the X, Y and Z axes. As you can see, it is highlighted by three different colors, yellow, not yellow, it's green, red and blue. If you're not coming from a software like Blender or Maya, it will take a while for you to actually understand and adjust to it, but definitely it's worth your time. As I said before, you can change the appearance as well as the color of your mannequin, the hair color, the skin color and all the kind of cool stuff. On top of that, what you can do is you can use the pre-existing animations poses for your artwork if you're just too lazy to just do everything manually. So let's just simply go with this one. It's a pretty dynamic pose. It will be good for a fighting scene or something like that. If you press these yellow arrows, you can adjust the lighting, the direction, the ambient occlusion and the intensity of the light, its position, its rotation and all the kind of cool stuff. And finally, you just adjust the camera angle and simply export it as a PNG or a JPG file. Now, obviously, you can either send it to your PC using a Dropbox, Google Drive or simply by a USB port. It's pretty simple. We are living in 2021. You should know these basic things. I'm not going to pick your baby hand and teach you everything from scratch. So now over here, we have this image which we exported from that reference tool. And I have imported this image as a separate layer in Krita. If you want to use it in Photoshop CC or Paint Tool Sci or GIMP, the process will still remain the same because all of these softwares basically work on basic layer functionalities. So obviously to see right through the reference pose layer, we will be going in our layer property settings. Now we can just turn off the blue active channel. Well, it's not completely necessary to do that, but it will help you to see right through your line artwork and you can basically distinguish between your line art layer and your reference layer pretty easily. So from here, the most easiest part begins, or maybe you can call it the most difficult part. Totally depends on you. Now you just have to trace the image. Well, tracing won't be the right word for it. You actually have to start studying the image and make gesture poses according to it. I know it's only for learning, but still try to modify and improvise the line artwork as much as you can, because if you don't do that, it will be harming you on a long run as a digital artist and you don't want that. And also you don't actually have to trace everything line by line. That's not the purpose of using this as a reference image. But the more and more body structures you study in this manner, it will provide you more knowledge to draw similar structures without actually using similar photo references. Personally speaking, I'm still a beginner, but I no longer use this technique for myself and my artwork. The main reason is that I personally feel that I can fake more convincing and not me now that I actually don't need this. But still, if you're just beginner like me, 
you can still use it for making your poses much more convincing but again if you started to trace on top of it instead of studying it properly it will cost you so yeah this was it for today's video i'll see you guys next time until then you know what to do you can subscribe you can turn on the notifications you can comment down if you have any video ideas comments or suggestions i'll see you guys next time until then peace